There's Abe in the timeline. And let's make two new title instances. We're going to open those up real quick. One. I'm going to put that down in my timeline here. And another one. Put that down in my timeline. So what I'm doing is a, is a workflow that says, you know what, I already have a lower third. I already have something that I want to work with, and now I'm just uh, now I'm just getting them on the timeline. So we have an enter text here, and we have an enter text here. Let me double click, and we're going to open up Quick Edit to do that. Notice the string of titles in our project. They're all here, including this enter text. Now what I can do is go to the Beercraft folder, which I made previously, and I can bring in my lower third. So let's go ahead and drag and drop. This is new features in Titler Pro 4 in the Quick Edit. It's a very convenient way to work. I can drag and drop a, t a template to a title. I can go to another title, drag and drop that template, and oops, I did the wrong one. Let's do the lower third one. Bam. So there you go. So there's uh, the two lower thirds I might want to do. Maybe this one we want to say something like, I don't know, good friends, enter. Notice how good friends applies. Are here. Notice how it gets smaller. And having fun. That is all because of that fit text to box mode. Uh, so you can see the power of that, especially when you're using templates. And uh, we can go to this other title. And let's say one thing I didn't show you is exposing a variable of a texture. In fact, if we open up Title Designer, I'll show you how that's done. Here is the background bar. Well, let, let's uh, review. With the beer craft, notice the fit text to box mode that's on. Under the object tab is where you find that text variable, and that one's called the title. Well, on a texture, remember styles are made of multiple layers that could be a color, could be a gradient, could be a texture. So we want to go into the style tab and say, you know what, for this color gradient texture space, I want this to become a variable. So I check that off and give it a name. So let's go back to Quick Edit. And I could bring in a texture, let's say a video for that matter. So um, let's see, we'll go back into our videos. And where's that guy? There's some beer for you. And you could have that flow there. Now, I'm just going to think that there's a video texture in here. It's not going to behave so well right when I put it in the timeline. This is where we get into caching. So we have five different titles in our project. And if you go under settings, none of them have caching enabled. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enable caching for this lower third. I'm going to enable caching for the other lower third. And I'm going to enable caching for our intro title called Beercraft, enable caching. Now, each of these has another feature called render cache at close. And what this does, there's two types of caching you can do. If you have render cache at close enabled, this is going to be an explicit cache. It's going to happen right now. And we have an analysis that finds out what's moving and what's still. And it's going to optimize the render. And when it does a cache, it's going to cache to one of the new features in Titler Pro 4 is the ability to control your final render quality as well as your preview quality. So when we go to cache, we're going to cache to a final render quality, which is set to good right now. So I have just set three titles to render a cache. So when I go ahead and close Quick Edit, watch what happens. Analysis occurs, and then render occurs. And we're working on Title 1. That's that uh, sapphire effect and the leaves coming in. and and all that kind of thing. So we'll let that render right now. And what this enables you to do is these are renders on alpha. So no longer in your NLE timeline, when you hit play, does your timeline need to query title or pro and say, hey, render and create this title right now. It's like, you know what? I've already got an alpha uh, cache set up and ready to go. And notice uh, my renders are going right here. And the nice thing, because they're on alpha, you can reposition these in your timeline and it doesn't matter. Uh, so let's go ahead and back up and hit play. So here's our intro title. And there's that nice beer craft playing smooth, playing perfect. And I could even reposition it and hit play again. And it's smooth, no problem. And that's unlike when you would do a slice of your timeline and render the in and out. Uh, so we can go back to these lower thirds. And there they are sliding in 
super nice. This next lower third, as you recall, is going to have that uh, video uh, in the background. 